A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a nostalgic tribute to one of cinema's most iconic films, Samuel L. Jackson has once again proven that he has not forgotten his lines from the cult classic Pulp Fiction. As the film celebrates its 30th anniversary, Jackson took to social media to share a heartfelt video of himself reciting the famous Ezekiel 25 verse 17 Bible verse, a moment that has become synonymous with his character, Jules Winfield. In the video, Jackson sits comfortably on a couch, confidently delivering the powerful monologue that encapsulates the essence of his character's moral journey. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee, he recites, his voice resonating with conviction. In his Instagram post, he cheekily proclaimed, you know I still got it, while extending warm wishes for the film's milestone anniversary. Pulp Fiction, directed by Quentin Tarantino, made its debut on October 14, 1994, after captivating audiences at the Cannes Film Festival, where it won the prestigious Palme d'Or. The film features a star-studded cast, including John Travolta, Bruce Willis, Tim Roth, Ving Rhames, Uma Thurman, and of course, Jackson. It is widely regarded as one of the greatest films of all time, with Rolling Stone's Peter Travers describing it as ferocious fun without a trace of caution, complacency, or political correctness to inhibit its 154 deliciously lurid minutes. Jackson's portrayal of Jules, a philosophical hitman, remains one of his most celebrated roles. The character's recitation of the Ezekiel verse occurs during a tense scene where Jules and his partner, Vincent Vega, played by John Travolta, confront a group of men over a briefcase for their boss, Marcellus Wallace, portrayed by Ving Rhames. The scene escalates into chaos, leaving an indelible mark on the film's legacy. Currently, Jackson is set to star in The Piano Lesson, a film adaptation of August Wilson's acclaimed stage play. Directed by Malcolm Washington, the film is scheduled for release on November 8 and features an impressive cast, including Denzel Washington, Danielle Deadweiler, and Erica Badu. As the celebration of Pulp Fiction's 30th anniversary unfolds, fans and critics alike are reminded of the film's impact on cinema and culture. Jackson's recent recitation has reignited discussions about the film's themes of morality, vengeance, and redemption, showcasing the enduring relevance of Tarantino's work. The actor's ability to deliver the iconic lines with the same intensity as three decades ago has left fans in awe, with many taking to social media to express their admiration. One fan remarked, one of the most hair-raising scenes of all time, while another shared, you had me in the fifth grade going to school reciting this line to my classmates. Jackson's performance in Pulp Fiction continues to resonate with audiences, solidifying his status as a cinematic legend. In a world where films come and go, Pulp Fiction remains a cultural touchstone, a testament to the power of storytelling and unforgettable characters. As the film reaches this significant milestone, it serves as a reminder of the artistry that Jackson and Tarantino brought to the screen, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of modern cinema. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.